hi everyone welcome to your channel there have been a lot of text to image models over the last few months quite recently we have seen models from various companies which have performed quite well but still flux models are the leader when it comes to text to image generation i have done various videos on flux models on all of its variants from dev to schnell and few others so if you're interested please search the channel in this video though i'm going to show you how you can fine tune flux model to generate images of yourself in any settings and quite easily too you don't have to write a single line of code you don't have to be uh, aware of any machine learning stuff if you can click with your mouse and if you have two dollars in your account you can do that very very easily and i am going to show you how if you are not aware of flux models they have cutting edge output quality second only to their own model which is um, the pro model but that is quite heavy they also have quite competitive prompt following and that is what makes it quite easy to fine tune them because if you are getting your prompt right you should be good to go so in this video i will be walking you through step by step as how to do that before uh, I do that, I also want to give a huge shout out to Mast Compute, who are the sponsors of this video, and they are running this Generative AI Hacktober 2024, where I am one of the judge. All you need to do is to just create some text story with any LLM, or an image with any LLM, or a text image or video with any llm submit it to them and then you can win free gpu credit from mast compute i already have dropped the link plus a coupon code for you which is which gives you 50 percent discount so please check it out i think you will enjoy it if you want to learn more about this hacktober 2024 i have done a video on it so please check it out okay so let's go back to our flux model now the tool which i'm going to use in order to fine tune this flux model is replicate replicate i believe is one of the easiest uh, tool to fine tune models without uh, learning about machine learning or ai actually not only you can use their graphical user interface but you can also use their api if you can code but for the ease of use i'm just going to go with their uh, ggui stuff so what do you need for it first of course you would need to go to this replicate.com and i will drop the link to their website in video description sign up if this is the first time or sign in and then once you have signed in just put in your credit card and because it is going to cost you at least one to two dollar in order to do the fine tuning third thing which you would need is at least 10 images of yourself so I will show you that I have just put in my own images here. Let me quickly open them. So these are my 10 images from different angle. So you see that uh, I have just taken it from my YouTube and then some of them are really crazy. So <clears throat> please don't touch me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to train the flux model on these images. And then I will give it some prompts like put me on top of some mountain or in the river and that sort of stuff. So, but for that, of course, in order for Flux to generate images by using my images, we would need to fine tune it. And for that, we are going to use this replicate tool. So let's go and check it out. And for that, another thing uh, you would need to do is to just uh, right click on this folder and compress it in, with, in a zip file. So just .zip file should be good. And you can do it on Windows, Linux, Mac, wherever you like. We just need a zip file uh, of the directory which contains uh, your images. Make sure you have at least 10 images. The more images, the better, uh, but it will be more costly. For 10 images, it will cost just under two US dollars. Okay, now let me take you to the Replicate website. So once you log into the Replicate website, you are presented with this dashboard. You see that I have already set up my billing here. Uh, you can also use some free credits, but I think for this fine tuning, you would need at least $2. And then from here, you just need to go to this link and I will drop the link to it in video description, because that is where you can train your model. 
So if you just uh, scroll down here, you will see that you would need to select your own model. You can give it any name like Fahad Mirza, MyFlux or whatever uh, you say here. So I'm just saying create new model using name below. This is my name. Keep it public. Uh, and then this is a zip file which I have uh, told you earlier. So let's click here and let me click on this and select the zip file from my local system. So I have selected the zip file here as you can see and this contains all of my images. A very important thing to do here is to come up with a trigger word. I'm just going to call it Fahad Mirza. So this is a unique trigger word which you will include in your text prompt and that is how Flux model would know that it needs to go to your own uh, data which and then use that data to generate the image. So this I have just given it Fahad Mirza. You can just select your own if you like and then from here you can just keep everything as is. Make sure that you keep it at thousand steps because anything less than that would not generate a uh, good quality so but thousand is a sweet spot that will just keep your billing low if you increase it your bill will go up and then let's keep it as is other than that I do, i'm not putting anything else there and then click on create a training here now once you create uh, click on this create training you see that it has started this job here and on the right hand side it says running and it is showing you that um, what it is doing now primarily what is happening here is that this is running on uh, you'll be built per second for the time the training process is running and this is running on nvidia's h100 gpu with i think 80 gpu of vram and that costs around 0.001528 cents per second at the uh, time of this making of this video and this I think takes around 20 minute training so because it is using or maybe 15 minutes and it is going to uh, you know use thousand steps plus my 10 images and you see that it has loading the checkpoint and doing also using that all the stuff here you see it is now using my images and it is just converting it to text I'm just letting it run so that you would see what is happening. So these are the, my images. It has uh, understanding the image that a man is wearing this and that. It is quantizing the transformer, loading the flux model, and then doing a lot of stuff at the back end. It is also creating that low rank adaptation network, which means that it is freezing the actual weights of the model, creating some layers on top of it and only fine tuning those. So that way it is retaining the actual intelligence of the model plus adding my data, my images on those LoRa layers to train it at a very high simple level in simple words. And then it is just caching it, doing the sampling and all that stuff. So I will let it run because I think it is going to take 10 to 15 minutes and then we will see uh, what happens next. Also, it doesn't matter what whatever the file name is, you know because i have done few other fine tuning videos where people have asked me that you know when you give an image to a model and then ask it that what is in the image and the file name is uh, the name of that thing it doesn't impact anything okay so let's wait for it to finish and if you want to know the eta you can see that it is five percent done and out of thousand steps 51 steps are done and 17 minutes uh almost 17 minutes are remaining okay so let's wait for it to proceed further and finish as you can see that the tra training is progressing well we are almost there 100 steps almost 100 steps are left meanwhile let me also introduce you to another sponsor of this video this is uh, also sponsored by agent ql which is an ai powered query language for getting structured data from live web pages Agent QL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily, and at scale. You can use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page's structure to find the data you are looking for i will also drop the link to them in video's description 
Okay, let's go back to our training to see what is happening. Almost there, I think you can see that only uh, half a minute is left. Let's wait for it to finish. Meanwhile, if you are worrying about your cost, you can just go to the replicate, then click on this view invoices. You'll be presented with this screen. Scroll down and then set your spend limit to whatever you are comfortable with monthly. So I have uh, set it to $5. So as soon as it goes above $5, it is going to stop billing me. So I can be rest assured that I don't wake up to some sort of bill shock. Okay, so let's see here. So almost there, you can see it is 100% done. It is running. So let's wait for it to change this status here. And the fine tuning is done. If you go up here, just click on run train model and you can even download these weights. I might do it and to run it offline, but we'll do it later. So let me click on run train model here and then let's wait. Let me give it a prompt. And if you remember, I told you that we need to put this trigger word. So this is a trigger word. So I'm saying it for Mirza. Maybe I'll just use it as a lower case because that is what I used. So Fahad Mirza, distinguished 46-year-old professor lecturing on quantum physics at a prestigious university standing in front of a complex equation-filled blackboard. And I'm just going to keep all the stuff as is. I'm not changing anything else. I just want to do it with the trigger word. So click on run here. Let's go up to see what it generates. And I'm just showing it to you transparently, no editing, nothing, so that we could evaluate uh it in real time and it better generate something good because we have spent two dollars on it after all let's wait for it it is generating it you see it is loading loading those low rank adaptation layers almost there there are 28 steps 68 percent 75 89 almost there Hundred percent. There you go. So you should be the judge if it is correct or not. I think it is. I have some jowl here, but that is fine. Okay, let's try out another one. Okay, in the next prompt, let's do. I'm just telling it that Fahad Mirza, charismatic, um, forty-six-year-old rock star performing on stage at Galstonbury Festival microphone in hand with a sea of adoring fans in the background now i think galstonbury is somewhere in somerset england let's wait for it to generate something and there you go looks cool isn't it and i think it has really put in the some of the you know features from my images in this image let's try one more in the next one, I'm asking it Fahad Mirza, a 46-year-old rugged outdoorsman with a strong jawline and weathered skin, standing at the summit of Mount Everest, gazing out at the breathtaking sunrise. So let's see what it generates this time. There you go. Looks. This is really good. I think this is one of the best which it has done. And it's not the exact face. That is a cool thing. It has just generated it uh, in a way. Amazing stuff. So that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think i'm not sure if it has updated my billing here i just want to show i'll just uh, refresh it to see if we could see how much did it cost just in the yeah so you see it with all the fine tuning plus all the inference it has just kept me one dollar 86 cents us dollars of course so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching